from Dogecoin flirting with a massive bullish breakout and some major firms accepting it to all the latest data and updates. There is a lot to talk about in this video, so let's see what is happening. So first of all, we are now seeing that there is all green in the overall crypto market and it appears that we are having a weekend rally. We can see here that Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge and others have started to move up and it appears that they are going to make some bullish moves from here. Now I know that since the start of this year, the overall market has mostly remained bullish. But the important thing to know here is that we have seen some massive developments this year that are very positive for cryptos in the long term. So we are now seeing that Ukraine has legalized crypto, banks are joining the metaverse, Binance wants to buy banks, Airmib is open to crypto payments, and some mayors are holding crypto. So what it means is that despite all this rising volatility during this year, we have seen cryptos getting massive traction and this is really positive for them in the long run. And now, let's come to Dogecoin and see what's happening with its price movements. So we are now seeing that Doge has been showing some momentum and its price analysis reveals that it is going to continue a bullish movement from here. We are now seeing that some technical indicators have turned bullish for Doge and they are indicating a massive breakout for it. So this is the 4 hours price chart of Doge and it is now showing us that there is more room for an upside movement. We can see here that the upper limit of the Bollinger's Band is present at 12 cents, which represents the strongest resistance for Doge. Conversely, the lower limit of the Bollinger's Band is present at 11 cents, which serves as the strongest support for it. Meanwhile, we can see here that its price appears to be crossing over the curve of the moving average, indicating a bullish movement. Besides, we also know that Doge has broken the resistance around 12 cents recently and now has begun following a linear way. So seeing this price chart of Dogecoin, the overall outlook appears to move in a bullish domain, increasing the value of Doge. And now, let's come to this one-day price chart of Dogecoin. So we can see here that the upper limit of the Bollinger's Band is present at 13 cents, which serves as the strongest resistance for Doge. Conversely, the lower limit of the Bollinger's Band is present at 10 cents, which serves as the strongest support for it. And its price appears to be crossing over the curve of the moving average, indicating a bullish movement. Meanwhile, the daily RSI value of Doge is at 4 to 4, which shows that its value is currently stable, falling in the lower neutral region. So seeing this, we can conclude that Doge has entered a solid bullish domain today and is showing signs of an increasing market as the price moves upwards. We are now seeing that Doge has continued its bullish movement and now the bulls are rulers of the market and are hard at work in increasing its value. Moreover, the market is showing constant characteristics, which means the bullish movement will be conserved for a long time. Now besides this bullish formation, another positive thing is that Dogecoin's adoption is rising steadily. So we are now seeing that Noyak Logistics Income, a rate investing in supply chain real estate, has started accepting payments in Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, and other cryptos supported by BitPay. This partnership with BitPay would enable investors to fund their commitment with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Shiba Inu, and others. Stephen Pear, CEO of BitPay, stated in a release that the partnership was birthed as a result of more investors seeking to move crypto allocations into physical assets like real estate. So this is positive news for Dogecoin as we are now seeing its adoption increasing and more and more firms are now accepting payments in it. Now, another positive news for Doge and others is that Aramiv is now looking to accept crypto payments. So we can see here that Brian Chesky, the CEO of Airdmum, has revealed that the top feature their users are requesting in 2022 is to pay for bookings in cryptos. He recently shared a list of the top six suggestions out of nearly 4,000 received. The first on his list was crypto payments. So what it means is that Airdmum is now showing a growing interest in cryptos. And if Airdmum incorporates the popular suggestion, it will join the ranks of Tesla, Anc, and others in accepting crypto as payment. And since many of these firms have accepted Dogecoin payments, we can expect the same from Airmub. So if this happens, this can turn out to be one of the most bullish developments for Doge. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So Bitcoin is now trading around the 42k price level as the overall sentiment has turned pretty bullish for it during the last 24 hours. Besides, we are now seeing that it is now trading above its 20-day simple and exponential moving averages, which is a huge bullish sign.
Moreover, its daily RSI value is also sitting in the neutral zone while the MSCD level has turned bullish. So what it means is that the overall outlook has become pretty positive for Bitcoin and everything is now pointing towards a move to the upside for it in the coming days. Meanwhile, we are now seeing that the Bitcoin reserves on exchanges have hit the lowest level since 2018. So according to data from Santiment, more investors are moving their Bitcoin from exchanges and into cold storage. The platform highlighted that the supply of Bitcoin on exchanges has dropped by nearly 14% from two months ago, demonstrating how current macroeconomic factors and soaring inflation are prompting more investors to hold. So this is a positive thing for Bitcoin as low Bitcoin reserves on exchanges are typically bullish as they indicate that market participants are unwilling to sell off their holdings at current prices. And it appears that Bitcoin's move above 40k was likely buoyed by the desire for institutions and individuals to pack their savings into an inflation-proof, stateless asset amid worsening geopolitical tensions in Europe. Moving on, we are now seeing that some experts are getting bullish on Bitcoin seeing its current price movements. So famous crypto analyst Benjamin Cowan is saying that despite short-term price changes, Bitcoin and the crypto industry, in general, will continue to grow for years to come. He is saying that the understanding that he has is that Bitcoin generally trends higher with time. The asset class is growing. There's obviously a ton of great news and the user base is growing. Cowan believes that Bitcoin is almost certainly going to be an asset class that continues to grow over the next few years and into the next decade. And now, we are seeing this massive update for Bitcoin coming from a U.S. congressman. So U.S. Congressman Pete Sessions is saying that Bitcoin is aligned with American values and will strengthen the U.S. dollar. He believes that Bitcoin is trending to be a more resilient alternative option to hedge against fiat currency inflation. So this is positive news for Bitcoin as it is getting praise from a senior politician, and this thing can really leave huge positive impacts for it in the near future. Meanwhile, we are now seeing a massive price prediction for Bitcoin coming from a prominent market leader. So Pantera Capital CEO Dan Moorhead thinks that mass adoption could drive the price of Bitcoin up to 400k in as little as three years. He is saying that every two years, 10 times more people use crypto than they did in the past, and that's been going on for a decade. He is highlighting that every two years, it's 10 times more. And every two years, the price of crypto has gone up 10 times. He thinks that Bitcoin will hit the 400k level by 2025, and it will actually be some number like that. He is saying that all the use cases are really rolling out and people are using it. Now institutional investors are really investing in the space, from taking it 10 or 20 basis points to maybe in 10 years, 8% of their portfolio. So this is indeed a massive prediction for Bitcoin. So let's see if Bitcoin actually hits this target in the next three years. And now, let's come to Ethereum for a minute. So we are now seeing that Ethereum is having a good run in the market right now. It is currently trading around the 2.9k price level, and it appears that it is going to cross the 3k mark pretty soon. And we can see here that this rise for ETH is due to the progress on the merge of the Ethereum blockchain vein it with the beacon chain. So Ethereum merged on the Clint testnet before the blockchain's eventual move to a proof-of-stake network with some other network validators producing post-merge blocks that contain transactions. So this means that Ethereum's transition to proof-of-stake protocol is now about to complete, and this development is leaving pretty positive impacts on its price. In fact, it now appears that Ethereum is going to go past the 3k price level pretty easily as it has already risen 14% within a week. We can see here that major contributing factors fueling the bullish momentum are Ethereum's price action breaking the bearish channel, increased exchange outflows, and rising interest from whales. Data from analytics firms into the block, sentiment, and chain analysis reveals that bullish sentiment among investors is promoting ETH price gains. So with institutional and retail investors intending to hold and avoid selling, considering the present scenario, it is expected that Ethereum is going to push upwards from here. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we have just seen that it is now forming a pretty bullish pattern on its price charts. There are a number of technical indicators that are now pointing towards a massive breakout for Doge in the coming days or weeks. Moreover, we have also seen that its adoption is steadily rising, so things are now nicely shaping up for it, and it appears that Doge is going to move to the upside from here.
And that's it for today's video. If you liked our content, please leave a comment in the comment section below.